Here we are at the Wilton Manor's house, listed at 2099. Very nice area. Um, just want to take a quick peek at the house. This is listed as a 3-2. I'm going to go over here and show you this first very noticeable thing. It looks like this was actually a carport or something originally. And I'm going to take you in here before we go inside. Updated windows. <sighs> Not quite sure if they're hurricane impact. They are thick glass. But here's the unusual um, entrance here. It's like a little vestibule in between the main house and this third bedroom, which does have um, the window and wall units in it. So, so there's a gate. So that's the first thing I saw. Hold on. I'm going inside, take a quick tour. Nice palms in the front yard. Nice and done. It's listed at 1,600 square feet. I don't really see it, but uh, take their word for it. Here's that room. They have some inexpensive laminate wood floors. Kind of low ceilings in this one room, and again. Um, there's no central AC in this room. They have a wall unit, but there is central AC in the rest of the house. So we've got a living area here. I don't think there's any lights. They had, did upgrade a very small kitchen area that leads to the living room. Sorry about the light, but it has uh, granite countertops. You can see that, and updated wood cabinets. Took all the appliances with them, so would need some appliances and the upgraded. Can't really see very well. Sorry about that. Okay. A bay window, and then we're going to go down the hall here. Into your first bathroom. You know, it's got tumbled marble, very basic. Has some upgrades, pedestal sink. Decent tile, very decent shape <clears throat> for the most part. And then you got some hallway central AC unit, handler, hallway closet, very small bedroom. Very, very small bedroom and uh, has one of the guest bedrooms. Does have a small closet. But uh, my gosh, this is honestly the bedroom is probably eight by eight. If I am, that's a lot. There's the second bedroom, also not real large. Carpeting needs to be replaced. It's a little bit bigger. And this is, I guess, what's considered the master. And it is really small. <laughs> you know, I mean, maybe 10 by 8 for a master bedroom. It's just really not very big at all. And here's the second bath. Yeah, got the newer tile, pedestal sink. Does need some. Uh, more work in this bathroom is not quite as updated. Okay, so now towards the back. And you have another, looks like added on or maybe addition room here. Could be considered an office, possibly. Uh, and again, there's no AC ducts in here, so they have a wall unit with a window. Rolling outside. It's 
small patio area with a flat roof. This definitely was a uh, outdoor that they've enclosed and not very well. So it does need some work here. Go out to the pool area. And it has a nice little backyard to it. And there's some play furniture. Some nice palms back here. Nice sized pool. Doesn't look very good right now, I know. I had a lot of rain here the last couple of days. And of course this is a foreclosure, so nobody's been really taking care of it. And a good idea of the backyard. Walk over here just to see. Yeah, there's your air handler, or your compressor. Looks fairly new. Um, yeah, you know, it definitely has some potential back here. Yeah, especially if you take this um, fence down. This fence is not really required because you have fences that are blocking the street right here. So I would probably say to open this yard up, you'd want to take this cheap chain link fence down. These people probably had kids, so they uh, you know, probably wanted to keep it separated from the pool, but it's not required. And the roof itself looks pretty good, uh, S-tile. And it's fairly decent shape. Didn't see really too much uh, water damage on the inside up on the, the ceiling. So, you know, all in all, it's uh, not a bad little house. The bedrooms are on the smaller side, but the location, you're right off of uh, Wilton Drive on 26th, um, right across the street from schools. Um, and this is a dead end street, so you'd have very little traffic coming by the front of the house. But just wanted to run over, give you a quick idea of the home so you could get a a feeling for it, and uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me your ring. Take care.